Hey guys, in today's video we've got a brand new 116 scale RC car to look at and there's only one reason why I bought this car. Why? Well this car has got two motors. Yes, it's got a twin motor setup. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a very special RC car to look at. So I bought this one on AliExpress and I know you can buy a lot of junk on AliExpress but sometimes there are some hidden gems and I think that this one is one of those hidden gems. So why? Well, there's only one reason why I bought this little car and that's because it's got a dual motor setup and I think that this is the first 118 scale RC car with a dual motor setup. So let me first get everything out of the box and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, a USB charger, a 5000 milliamp 2S lithium ion battery, a screwdriver and some spare bits and pieces. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter. This is the transmitter and it runs on two AA's which you need to supply of your own. So the overall build quality feels a bit plasticky in my opinion but yeah it's capable of one end driving but the steering wheel and the throttle sticks are all okay. So this is your on off switch and this is your steering trim and this is your speed selector and yeah that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car. Here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well appearance wise I really like this little car. So you've got two different body styles and two different color types to choose from. But I chose the red one and I think that this car really looks amazing. So here you can see the roll cage which is a thumbs up and a very flexible wing. So that's always a good thing. So here in the front of the car you can see the front bumper also made from a very flexible material. So that's already a positive thing. And here you can see some LEDs mounted inside there. So the shot are just friction shocks and they feel very lightweight so you were bouncing around over the field but overall I didn't expect this car so it looks a bit more like a toyish car instead of a hobby grade but yeah I didn't see any pictures with the body shell off so I didn't know what to expect. The wheels and tires they feel okay but they are held in place by a simple screw instead of a wheel nut so yeah I don't like that. So if you look at the rear of the car then you can see the solid rear axle but it's got open diff so that's all okay. But yeah when you're moving around I don't know if you can see that the motor which inside there is also moving so the motor is fixed to the rear axle so that's a strange setup. So also here you've got simple friction shocks and they feel a bit lightweight and yeah overall let's see how the plastic feels oh the plastic is very flexible and that's always a positive thing you know if you're hitting an obstacle then the flash, uh, plastic will normally just flex and doesn't break very easily but of course we have to test it to find out for sure so let me get the body off and show you what's under there on the inside of the body you can see some reinforcement and that's always a good thing. So when the body is removed you can see the simple setup. So it's looking quite interesting. So you've got a dual motor setup. You've got one over here and one over there. And it's got a heatsink on it so that's a thumbs up. So here you can see when I move the rear axle that, I'm, uh, uh, that the motor is also moving. So that's a quite interesting setup. So I think this is like a 280 motor. And normally a 280 motor in this size car is not a big... Uh, thumbs up but you've got the dual motor setup so perhaps it's all okay so here you can see the steering servo with some linkages so all the linkages and all the drive shaft everything is made of plastic you've got plastic gear so this is like a plastic fantastic car but perhaps it drives very nice so here's your battery compartment and underneath there you will find your receiver ESC combination so that's only one pin board I will show you that in a bit and over here you've got an on off switch and overall the build quality feels all okay but yeah let's uh, yeah and let me show you the two in one receiver EC combination here you can see the two in one receiver ESC combination and it looks like it's got a waterproof seal over it so that's a thumbs up so let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on 
The car is powered on and here you can see the LEDs. So the steering servo isn't the fastest and especially not the most powerful one as you can see. So this is full throttle. Well, that doesn't seem pretty fast, but on the box it's written that it can do uh, 40 km an hour. So let's take it outside for a spin and let's see if we can hit the 40 Ks. So guys, we're at the tarmac road. So the first thing that we're going to test is to see how fast this little car can go. So it should go 40 Ks an hour or something, but yeah, I don't think it's going to do that. So full throttle already. So let's see the speed that we get, got. So we hit the 25 k's an hour. Can you see that? Well, I post a picture of that. But yeah, that's not the 40 uh, they have, they're claiming on the box. So let's take it off-road. So guys, let's see how this little car performs off-road. So here we go, full throttle already. So this car bounces. Do you see that? Wow. Well, it does a good job off-road. It's got a decent speed, but yeah, it's not the fastest car in the world. Oh, did you see that? So I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and I must say I am not very impressed by it. I think this is more like a beginner car, so if you're looking for a car for your kid or something to get into the hobby, then this is probably a great purchase, but yeah, I am used to yeah, a little bit better cars than this one, but it's still it's fun to drive, but yeah, it's not my favorite car until now. Do you see it bounce around, you know? Here it comes, oh, tumble wumble. Let's see if we can pop a wheelie, so reversed, full throttle. No, it can't do that. So I will just go and play around for a couple of minutes and then I will come back to you with my final judgment about this little car. Who crashed it? So guys, that was the driving with the Enos 116 four-wheel drive AC car with the dual motor setup. And what do I think of this little car? Well, appearance-wise, I really like this car, you know. It screams go fast, you know, the big tires, the bumper, the body art. I really like the, uh, the car. But overall, the car, it's more like a toy-grade car instead of a hobby-grade. You know, I'm used to the hobby-grade car, so this isn't my favorite setup. I really do like the idea that you have a dual motor setup, so that's, uh, that's a thumbs up. But you know, it's just more toy-grade car and it's not a really a hobby grade car so all the friction shocks it just bounces around and it doesn't have a lot of power but what do you expect you know you've got like two uh, tiny motors so these are 280 motors I think and yeah they did okay for the money and everything but still you know if this is going to be your first RC car then you will be disappointed if you're looking for a hobby grade one but if you're looking for yeah a cheapy toy car for your kid for example then this is probably uh, yeah a good purchase but overall yeah yeah, what do I think of it? Well, yeah, it's it's not my favorite car. All right, guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.